Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen. Hope that you guys are doing well. So the other day, I was looking through Macy's website, looking through their fragrances they had available, and I saw something that caught my eye, something I hadn't seen before. A fragrance finder. Yes, a fragrance finder where Macy's is going to give you a great quiz full of all kinds of different questions and answers where they're going to be able to tell this is the perfect scent for you. So that's what I'm doing here today. I've got it pulled up and we're going to go through this quiz together and see what Macy's thinks is the perfect fragrance for me. So let's do this. And guys, I'm going to have a link in the description to the fragrance finder in case you want to go ahead and find your own perfect scent. And I'll list the fragrances that they think are perfect for me. We'll see uh, how well they do. Here it is. Fragrance perfection awaits. Find your new favorite fragrance in seconds. Jeez, this is great. This can save me so much time. I'll just be able to go on here and it's gonna know exactly what I like. It's <laughs> awesome. All right, starting off with six options here. Floral, citrus, sweet, spicy, woodsy, and fresh. I don't know how many I should pick, so I'm just gonna go with three. We'll do sweet and spicy because that sounds good. And uh, I'll toss floral in here as well, mainly because I'm hoping for something iris, uh, but it says lilac and rose. <laughs> All right, move on to the next question. Add the occasions you have in mind. So we've got fresh and clean, classic and traditional, fun and adventurous, confident and bold. So I put spicy, sweet, floral, so thinking more of like fall, winter time fragrances. We're gonna go confident and bold here and also classic and traditional because it says that that is effortlessly sophisticated and effortlessly sophisticated sounds pretty cool. Refine with preferred product type, masculine, feminine, neutral, go masculine. Finish by adding your current favorites. That's cheating, man. I'm not gonna do that. You have to figure this out on your own. Maybe I'll add some after the fact, but we'll just check the results now and see what this extremely in-depth quiz has chosen for us. All right, so there it is, the top pick for me. My most loved fragrance, Paco Rabanne's One Million. You know, all things considered, I mean, it's not the worst guess that somebody could make. If you say, I want something sweet and spicy with a floral undertone to it, one million's a pretty solid guess or a pretty solid option because one million is definitely sweet. It's also spicy and it does have rose in it. So it meets the criteria. Is it a personal favorite fragrance of mine? No but uh, I think they could have done a lot worse. Let's see what else we got here. All right, looks like we have eight more fragrance matches here. Let's uh, let's see what they are. Ultramall. Yeah, that's actually not really a bad choice there. Uh, did a pretty good job. It's got all the notes listed right here. So you've got vanilla and tonka and pear. That's gonna cover the sweetness. You got lavender in there. So that's gonna cover your floral aspect. And then in terms of spice, you've got cinnamon and pink pepper. Not bad, Ultra Mall. I'll take it, and I do like that one. That's a good one. Then they've got both Code Profumo and Code Absolute double codes. Maybe a little bit redundant to say, hey, both of these you should pick up, but I like them both, so I guess I'm gonna let that one slide. Especially Code Absolute, this stuff is fantastic. And then Prada Amber Pour Homme. This is extremely random to see this on here. I gotta say, this one's really random. As far as Prada fragrances go, this one, you know, mainstream wise, about the one that flies under the radar the most, because most people, when they hear Prada, if they're thinking about a men's fragrance nowadays, they're gonna be thinking one of the Luna Rosa fragrances, like Luna Rosa Carbon, the new Luna Rosa Ocean, the original Luna Rosa, Luna Rosa Black, you know, all those, or even Prada Loam. But no, Prada Amber, I'll take it. What else we got on here? A lot of bad boy. Bad boy Le Parfum and the original bad boy and also uh, a bad boy power up spray yeah bad boy power up spray sounds like something that bowser would use king koopa one thing i'm noticing here a lot of these fragrances they are offering in their largest sizes so they've got a 6.7 ounce of ultramol they've got a uh 5.1 ounce Bad Boy Le Parfum, 5.1 ounce Bad Boy Eau de Toilette, 6.7 ounce Code Absolute. They're basically just saying, hey man, 
How about you buy the biggest friggin' bottle we have? Yeah, only $177 for that Code Absolute. What a deal. So with both of these fragrances, I'll give you the sweetness and maybe we'll stretch it out and say, yeah, the spiciness too, but floral, nah, no florals here, my friends. At least not in any kind of discernible way in here. And the spice is gonna be pepper. So mm, maybe, maybe, maybe we stretch our imagination and say that this is a good match but it more so just seems like Macy's is trying to sell some bad boy because they even put the power up spray here. So uh, I'm on to you Macy's. I see that you're trying to move some bad boy bottles. And last but not least, Le Mal Le Parfum is their other option for me. And that one, yeah, I'll take it. I was trying to think for a second if it covered the spiciness, but it does have cardamom in there. Obviously as florals, it's got lavender, it's got iris, it's got vanilla. So yeah, yeah, this one is gonna match up pretty well. Le Mal Le Parfum, this one and probably one million are the ones that really match the criteria the most, I would say. Overall, what do I think about this? I'm really not sure. Some of these fragrances I like a lot, others I'm kind of iffy on. Seems like they're really trying to move particular brands or lines though, more than anything, because they gave me two Code fragrances, they gave me two Lamal fragrances, and they gave me two Bad Boy fragrances. So that means only one million and Prada Amber Pour Homme stood alone. Yeah, I don't know about this. Let's retake it really quickly just for, uh, just for the fun of it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the exact same thing, only this time I'm gonna put in five of my favorite scents. We'll see if it changes at all. See if this thing actually can function as a true fragrance finder, or if it's just complete trash. I can tell you which way I'm leaning, but I'll withhold judgment for now. All right, five favorites. What should we add? Hmm. You know, I'll add Luna Rosa Black. Let's see how that goes. And just to throw it off, let's add Light Blue Forever. We'll add Gentleman Eau de Parfum. We'll add La Nuit de Lome Blue Electrique. And we will add Hermes Ombre Nargui. There's my five. Let's see if that changes anything up at all. My top pick now has changed to the exact same friggin' thing. It's one million again. I'm really glad to see my choices made a difference. Let's see what the other ones are. They got worse. <laughs> How is that possible? So now it's the Art of Shaving Bourbon Amber Cologne Intense, both in 3.3 and one ounce sizes. Sometimes you can find those at TJ Maxx for like, $15. Then we've got Code Profumo again, Code Absolu again, Le Mal Le Parfum again, Ultra Mall again. So the only real differences here are Mercedes-Benz Select Night at 3.4 ounce and Paul Sebastian Men's Fine Cologne for 39 bucks. Yeah, it got worse. It got a lot worse. No offense to the Paul Sebastian, the Mercedes-Benz Select Night or the Art of Shaving fragrances that they doubled up on and just put the same thing in there twice, only at a different size. But the fragrances that were there before, on the whole, if you take the entirety of them and put them up against each other, were better. Mainly just because I had that Prada Amber in the last one, so. So that's disheartening that I put in some recommendations, some things I like, and yeah, I did switch it up a little bit. I put some fresh ones in there too, and I know I was going for more of a fall winter thing, but still, I let it know, hey, here's five that I really like, and they basically just went, cannot compute, and just kind of threw some random stuff in there. But guys, feel free to play around with this fragrance finder, you know, put in some more recommendations. Maybe if you give it, you know, more recommendations, it will be able to get a better idea of what you like and, and put better recommendations in there, or it will just spew random crap out there that it's trying to get you to buy. It could be that too. Well guys, I think I'm gonna cut it there and maybe I'll be able to find some other fragrance finders on the good old interwebs that will work for me a little bit better than Macy's. Or maybe if I can really dig down deep into this and give it enough information, it will be like a, a true learning AI and be able to spit out the perfect recommendations for me. But I don't think so. Let me know if this works well for you guys. Go play around with it. Let me know if it actually gave you some good recommendations or if it's complete crap. As always, thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.